Yep. That's what we looking for Sunday. Shit just like this. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm calling it. Play the game. I've been sleeping on you. I don't, I don't know why, but you got us this week. I'm calling it right here. You are number one. Let's go. WDM, what's good? It's your boy CB, man. Um, before I even get into the pregame, I'm going to just go on and just um, just say something, man, and then I'm on to the next, man. Um, I don't get into this, um, you know, this back and forth trash talking stuff. Um, you know, I just be real and honest about, you know, teams and shit. That's how I do my shit. But um, this is just a little advice for everybody, man. If you're going to come on here and, and try to do some trash talking and shit, like, be honest and have some, you know, facts behind your shit. Just coming on here talking all this sideways, left field shit, you know, calling Sam... Call them players on our team that really only played one or two games, you know, and what need playing since week two. I mean, shit like that. Um, just stop it, man. Don't just make sure your facts are straight. That's that's all I'm saying. You know, hit man three one three. You know, I tried to give you some advice, man. You still on here popping shit, um, broke ass nigga, man. I come up there to Detroit. You know, I see you out there on the street with your little um, black hoodie on, man. I throw you a few quarters. Broke nigga, man. Get your money up. And anyway, man, that's it, man. Just a little advice. You gonna come on here and pop shit, man. Make sure that you know a little facts about the opposing team, you know. Make sure the players is on the fucking team, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, that's that, man. On the Detroit, man, um. Detroit, man, they've been, they been balling. You know, they're 74 coming in here, 74. You know, their offense is hot. You know, not as hot as ours, but, you know, they're capable of moving the ball downfield, you know, pretty, pretty easy. You know what I'm saying? And the same shit can happen Sunday to our defense if we don't want to show up and play, if we don't get no pressure on Matthew Stafford. You know, we're going to have to have Stafford back there tiptoe dancing around, making them throw a little bit of high passes, overthrows. We're going to have to have him back there dancing. He got he got the ability to escape pressure, you know, and get a first down. You know, he's not no um, Aaron Rodgers type speed or nothing like that, or Derek Carr, you know, something pretty, you know, pretty fast, but he's capable of escaping it. So, we're going to have to, we can't have one man just getting pressed on him. We're going to have to we're going to blitz linebackers, throw linebackers. Danell, you know, he's been good at that. You know, playing different stunts with him, having them blitz. We're going to have to do all kind of types of crazy blitzes to get Stafford off his game. And he's been playing good right now. Um, you know, they offense, you know, they don't cover, man. You know, they... Since Calvin gone, man, they like they done got a little bit better. And that's just probably because, um, you know, they can spread the ball around a little bit more. But um, Joe Lombardi, he with us, but he used to be up there with them. You know, the world was. He took the, you know, our offense up there, and they basically copycat the shit. Um, but, you know, I know they still got bit, bits and pieces of our shit, you know, even though they got a new face up there. But. Um. Yeah, man. But that's 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 gonna be the game plan. That and um, you know, special teams. We definitely gonna have to. And it hadn't got any better. You know. Another week. You know, the Rams game. It didn't have. It didn't play no effect because the game was basically over. You know, when he done the drop punt. But you know, another week of miss muffled punt or. Muffled ball, a uh, dumb decision made on special teams. Another week of it. And I'm telling you, if that same shit happens Sunday, you know it's going to bite us in the ass. It's going to bite us in the ass Sunday if we, we come out there and do shit like that again. We are lucky to recover it Sunday, but, you know, it's a 50-50 with recovering the shit. 
If we do shit like that Sunday, they recover the ball, you know, that's that's not going to help us at all. We can't have momentum changes off of dumb, you know, mistakes like that. You know, I honestly believe we should have kept Spiller, you know. Either way, we got to pay this guy his money, so why not just keep him, just have him be a, a return specialist, man. Ha have him be our returner, you know, if he, if he didn't fit in our offense. Like I said, we still got to pay the man either way. Either he gone or not, he's still going to get his money from us. So, I mean, but it's over. He with the Jets. I still believe he with the Jets. So, uh, you know, that that shit is over with. So, we just going to roll with, with, with who we got, you know. Just keep switching guys back and forth, man. That's that's not helping. We done tried Murphy back there, Tommy Lee Lewis, Cadet. I mean, at least with Cadet, man, um, I really hadn't saw him fumble like that. So, you know, just go with somebody, and just, we just going to roll with it, man. You know, we tried Brandon. You know, he he called his shit, but it's, I mean, just got to get a true special team returner back right there. Just been doing the shit. Tommy Lee Lewis, he ain't had no experience in the league doing that shit. You know, but... It is what it is. We're going to see what they do Sunday. If, if Murphy going to get activated and get back there, you know, we'll see. But, you know, that shit got to improve. We, we can't have no mishaps on special teams. I'm telling you, it's going to bite us in the ass. You know what I'm saying? Offensively, uh, offensively man, I believe we're going to be able to move the ball. We're going to be able to put points on the board if we can come out and jump off gate, you know. We can get a jump off gate, you know, that'll be good for us. Just in case our defense end up fucking up, you know, at least we can still be in the ball game. You know what I'm saying? So, offensively, we're going to have to come out and get off to a jump off gate. We can't be waiting till the second half to turn up. Let, you know, Sunday we done good against the Rams with, you know, getting off to a fast start on the offensive side. But... You know, we got to do it Sunday. We can't wait to the second um, quarter, second half, you know, shit like that. They'll finally wake up. It's going to be too late. And we're going to be playing catch up like we have prior games. But uh, that's basically it, man. You know, they defense is, they defense get respect as well. You know, pretty solid. Not as good they, as they offense, but they got some pieces. I think – um. Levy, he he been practicing this week, so he gonna probably be back in the fold next um, this Sunday. You know he missed a few games. They got the end. Um, Asa, he ain't really been making impact number wise, but you know he's still capable, young boy. Um, he capable of having an impact on the game. Raphael, shout out to you. You know I don't think you start, but you still in the deep. You still in the mix. They got you out there. So um. It's another player we got to, you know, watch out for, you know. And they got other real dudes out there on that defensive side. So, you know, let's just let's just grit our teeth. And one more thing, man, if I even get off of here. This Brandon Cook shit, this is a uncalled for distraction that's not happen. Yeah, I mean, we, I, we'll see what Brandon's saying shit, you know, was the shit just – Took out of proportion, you know, and shit like that. But I believe us Saints fans, we, you know, we should be looking at ourselves saying why in the fuck was we even saying shit like that in, in the beginning about, you know, Mike Thomas, I do number one and shit like that. Let's just let the guys play, man. You got your whole who that nation. You basically, basically Cooks was our, our number one. You know, he he was poised to be our number one before we even went into this draft and got Mike Thomas. Now y'all saying that, and then when he come up with some shit like this, now we all on his ass and shit. But us as fans, we the one was trying to anoint Michael Thomas as the new number one. I mean, just fuck the number one. Every receiver we got is capable. I'm talking about between Sneed, Cooks, and Thomas, all three of them is capable of being number one receivers. I, I honestly think so. Let's just stop the bullshit. This is a petty ass distraction that can happen, you know. 
we'll see what they talk about. You know, they just doing the press conferences and stuff. But um, I'll check it out, man. But that's just something petty that, you know, didn't have to happen. You know, Our offense doing good. I mean, let's just let's just roll with it. Let's just stop, you know, talking about stuff like this. Because it doesn't really matter at the end of the day because Bree's going to spread the ball around. And by Brandon getting them targeted zero times, that just show how Bree, he going to go to the open man. And I like that. Try to force shit in to make somebody happy. That's going to fuck shit up. And I hope it don't happen Sunday. Trying to please Cooks and then that result in a turnover because he, he too... And that's not saying that Thomas is better. I'm just saying Thomas is more capable of making, I believe, more spectacular catches just because of his body type and he's athletic at that. Bree can fit more passes in than he can with Cooks. These jump balls and stuff, I mean, but that that's, that doesn't define who's better. You know, I, I still think Cooks, he he a go-to target. And then the other two follow all of them is go-tos. So let's just stop that, man. Let's get to it Sunday. It's your boy CB. Who that nation? Let's lock arms, man. Shout out to my boy T-Word, man. Who that nation? All of us should be checking out this podcast. You know, he, you know, all on the Saints Network, you know, putting this podcast out. You know, I'm supposed to be on that Saturday night. Everybody tune in, man. Let's get it poppin'. It's your boy CB. I'm out.